Good morning and welcome to Club Hunky Dory TV. My name is Daniel Newhouse and I will be your host for the hour. It is 10 a.m. It is Monday and that can only mean one thing. It is time for The Craft Show. We're back. We're back, guys. Absolutely over the moon. Um, for those of you who aren't regular viewers, uh, we have been doing something similar to a craft hokey cokey for the past couple of weeks. We've been <laughs> on, then we've been off, then we've been nearly on, then we've been off again. But we have quashed, quashed, that's a good word, quashed our technical gremlins. We've squashed our gremlins. Um, which, or put them in a blender, I think, is what happens on the, on the movie, isn't it? Oh, I wish I'd not said that. No. Let me introduce you today. We apologise, by the way, for being off. We are now back and we are back for good, just like take that. Um, let me introduce you to my partner in craft. It is Natalie Muspratt. Good morning, Natalie. Hi, good morning. How are you? It's, I'm very well. How are you? Because I, I actually, I haven't seen you because I went on, you went on holiday and then I went on holiday. And then you were like, I've not seen you in a while. It's, I have it's, missed your face, I've Natalie. Missed you too. Oh, that's lovely. That's very I've missed cute. You too. My work, Dan. I've missed my work. Dan. I am your work, Dan. I'm Natalie has work. a Dan, her own Dan, which is her home Dan. And my I'm home Dan, Dan and my work cute. Dan. Um, people, we've missed you too as well. Uh, let us know in the comments, have you missed us? Um, uh, we've absolutely missed you. Shall we take a look? Oh, we have Emily with us as well today, by the way. Say hello, Emily. Hello. Hello. Um, shall we take a quick look at what is coming up on today's show? Okay, so coming up on today's show, we have our brand new Win It Weekly question. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Woodland Wildlife Collection today, and we're going to go across to Natalie at the demonstration station and see what she can craft for us. Uh, we have the Hunky Dory headlines, and we've also got some fun with stamps on the show as well. Stamps. Uh, very, very nice. So, first things first, Win It Weekly. Let's get going. That was uh, seamless, that, wasn't I it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, I forgot. Uh... Uh, okay, guys, we have a new Win It Weekly competition. Uh, we have it every week. We give away 100 quid's worth of Hunky Dory goodies. And today, uh, we are giving away this fabulous Golden Oldies Christmas Crackers collection. Let's take a little close-up if we can. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Get it in the right place. So this is the Golden Oldies Christmas Cracker Collection. It's perfect for your festive crafting. It's worth £24.99. So we are going to pick four winners of this awesome bundle of Golden Oldies humorous goodies. Uh, we're going we're gonna to pick them on Friday. And if you want to enter, here's what you need to do. You need to tell us the answer to this question, the secret question that hasn't appeared, but now it has. Uh, how do you make an octopus laugh? Is it A, Dan telling a bad joke? Thank you very much, Emily. Is it A, Dan telling a bad joke? Is it B, with 10 tickles? <laughs> I love this. Oh, it's brilliant. Um, or is it C, with a feather duster? Um, I mean, if I was an octopus, it would definitely be number, it would be A, because I love a bad joke. Do you like a bad joke? Yeah, I love a bad joke. Do you joke. like a bad joke? <laughs> I think we, they're hilarious. We're quite keen on our jokes here at Hunky Dory. Is it uh, A, Dan telling a bad joke? Is it B, with 10 tickles? I love um, that. That's a nice it's way to start money money. Or is it C, with a feather duster? There is a comic, or oh, there was a comic, who who used a feather duster, wasn't there? Um, oh no, yeah. I've forgotten. You two are now but bands, are you? Um, guys. I know who you're on about. At I know home, who you're on about, but I don't know his name. Who was it names. who had a, and he said, used to say, tickle me. I can't remember what he used to say, but he had a feather duster. Um, please let us know. Let us know in the comments who is it, uh, which comic was it who had a feather duster. Uh, okay, so guys, four people are going to win. We, on, in our Thankcraft It's Friday, Emily's just found it. Um, on our <laughs> Thankcraft It's Friday show on Friday, we will tell you who those winners are going to be. Uh, you can either enter just by uh, commenting here with your answer. Uh, there is a correct answer, allegedly. Uh, please do let us know the correct answer. Or you can um, join in on the Hunky Dory Hub where you can enter as well. Four people will be picked. Four prizes will be sent. Very, very, very exciting. That's okay. such a good kit as well. It's a really good kit. So fun. Our man Alan, 
who works here, Arman who, Al, Arman Al uh, who, who is uh, a gentleman who is on this side, um, and this Friday he might actually be producing the show, believe oh. it or not. He might be, he might be. Oh. Um, I'm trying to talk him into it, you see. I'm going to Oxford with, uh, with Deborah on Friday, oh, which is fancy. very nice. Yeah, Oxford. I've never been to Oxford before, but it's, is it the City of Spires? I think it's called something like that, but it's, um, it's, very, it's very nice, very nice place, I believe. Nice. Uh, so, and Emily is on leave as well, so uh, it will be Alan, I do believe, producing. Or it'll be crossed. Alan or it'll be me, sat Alan. here pressing buttons. <laughs> or Natalie, do not and let demoing. Natalie press And chatting. Uh, okay, yeah, it's really good. Know, Alan created the, this, didn't he? The last time I pressed buttons, I deleted stuff, did I? You did? <laughs> You did. I deleted it. We're oh. not telling you, but Natalie is the reason why we've not been it. No, we won't say it that. It was um, terrible. <laughs> okay, guys, shall we take a look at what we are going to be uh, showing you, what product we're going to be showing you today, Rum VT. What a beautiful kit this is. It's so um, pretty. Perfect for this time of the year, isn't it? So we'll get the details up for this kit in a second. Uh, it's our Woodland Wildlife Luxury Topper Collection. So this is the first thing we'll look at. Uh, £19.99, so let's jump into this close-up here. Um, okay, get it in the right place, there we go. So, um, with our Luxury Topper Collections, we always put in a um, inspiration sheet, a lovely inspiration sheet with cards on there and some details about the, the other upsells, the products that are available. Um, but you always get, so that if your mojo isn't with you when you mm -hmm. get your kit home, you can utilize this uh, and copy a couple Loads of cards. Of inspiration on there. Just gets you started, doesn't it now? Yeah, I think. it really does. Sometimes you're just in a little bit of a funk. Um, so it's nice to have, have this inspiration. Nobody to wants at. to be in a little bit of a funk. No one Oh does. no, uh, not even James Brown. Um, okay, he, he liked funk, didn't he? Here we go, look at this. So you've got the beautiful owl. We're taking a trip through the woodland wildlife. So you'd expect to see an owl there, beautiful owl. Um, you get loads of information as well, some really, really pretty uh, info about the bird itself that you can put onto your cards, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, gorgeous gold foil, lovely sort of tartan background on the back there, it's beautiful. Uh, you get cardstock that goes with it. Now you're gonna get two of every sheet that I'm showing you. I'm just showing you one of each. Look at the owl there, isn't that gorgeous? There's so much lovely like textures and backgrounds and like colorways in this. It's it's really, really fantastic. I love that. And like the watercolor with the sort of artwork as well is really nice. It's really isn't pretty, it? isn't it? It's very, very high quality artwork. And again, you get in the sentiments on there, you get in the ribbon borders on there on the sides. You've got apertures here that you can work with. Um, you can pop these out. They're all die cut, as I say, come straight out and beautifully foiled as well. Uh, lovely accent foiling on them. Look at those little corners there. Beautiful, That's very pretty. And there's the lovely, I don't know if you can see, the, see it close at home, but there's some lovely leaves foiled into here as well. There we go. Very nice. And we have the ducks. I love that. That is such a good image. We have the ducks. In my mind, ducks live in the duck pond, but they live in the woods as well, I guess. Do you know what happened to me at the weekend? It's quite a funny story, actually. So we went shopping um, to Ikea. And as we were coming out of Ikea, the traffic on the other side of the road, like there wasn't any. And I was like, this is really weird because it's a really busy roundabout. And as we got further down the road, there was like 10 geese crossing the road. Oh. And all the cars had stopped because these geese were just like crossing the road so slowly. Oh, it was I'm hilarious. Glad they stopped. I'm but glad they stopped. It reminds me of that image because they were just like all, all plodding along. Very cute. Look at the kingfisher at the bottom, isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. Okay, so when you're talking about pretty birds, kingfisher's right at the top, agree? Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's very many prettier birds than a kingfisher. Hummingbird maybe, um, but I think the kingfisher would argue with that. Look at the squirrel up there as well. Squirrel nutkins, lovely. Isn't this gorgeous? So you get two of every sheet that we've shown you there. So you get eight toppers, uh, topper sheets, eight sheets of foil cardstock and eight sheets of printed cardstock, all for $19.99. I absolutely love that, I think it's beautiful. Should we take a look at the inserts as well? Emily, there's a bundle on this, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There is a bundle. Can you just, 
it's our pick of the week. Can you just pop up our bundle? There we go. So our pick of the week, guys, uh, this week is our uh, new launch for Woodland Wildlife. Um, £34.97. You get that topper collection. You're also going to get these inserts, but you're going to get a concept card kit and a paper pad as well, which I believe Natalie will show us later on. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at these inserts then. So again, Emily's got us one of each of these inserts here. Um, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see, instead of me trying to flick through three, look at the uh, beautiful kingfisher really again nice. in there. Um, it's a lovely sort of check there. Um, the checks really work nicely with this kit, don't they? It does. It's really, really nice. And I think all of the different patterns and the elements that you get um, in the backgrounds, they just just really come together so nicely. And the colorways are so fitting for this time of the year. You know, they're all like autumnal the leaves are starting to turn a bit now it's a bit rainy outside but it, it just really fits so lovely so if if you're sending a card to anyone at this time of the year this is a perfect kit to it do is with. just look at the duck again there I love it. Uh, that weather is just starting to change isn't it so on on sunday yesterday we were um we were watching max play his football match uh, first thing in the morning and you know, we went out I, I said to debs i said should i take my hat and you like big bobble hat and yeah. she said Dan, you're not going to need, need a hat. I, I felt really, really cold. So I got I got um, a jump, a t-shirt, a jumper. I got a hoodie. Um, I took loads and loads of stuff with me. And within 10 minutes of being there, I was in just my t-shirt because the sun was beating so down. Oh, my word. Um, yeah, and then it was cold again later on. It makes no sense, does it? Bit of rain. It doesn't really know what to do, does it? There we go. There's the owl again. Absolutely gorgeous. So you're going to get three of each of all these inserts that we've shown you in that pack for £9.99. And I think it's time. Do you think it's time? I think it's time. I think it's time we go to the demonstration station to meet our good friend Natalie, um, our very own paint box poppet, who will show you uh, a lovely demonstration with the Woodland Wildlife Collection. I will. I'm going to use the fantastic, the red... Um, deer stag and I want to utilize that massive topper um, that you see on the top of here because it's just filled with like three beautiful frames that are all foiled and um, there's accent foiling on that middle one it's absolutely uh, delightful so what we're going to do is just pop this out and I'm going to put this to one side and then I'm going to take um, this border here that has the leaves on so let's just trim this out and then I'm actually going to use two cardstocks here. So I've got this beautiful foils with those corners and then this one here. So we're going to start off, we're putting this on an 8x8 eight eight card. So we're going to start off by trimming this plain cardstock to 8x8. Eight eight. And I am going to take the borders off. Um, but these borders are so fantastic that you could use these on other projects, you could add them in. We might actually add them into the second card that we're going to do today. So I'm going to trim this down to two notches below the eight because um, we're matting this onto some gold um, and you want to be able to see that. So we've got our first layer here and we're going to put this onto our gold 8x8 eight eight mirror mat. Then I have a piece of 7x7 seven seven mirror. Um, which is going to fill our next gap. So what we're going to do with this um, other piece of cardstock is we're going to cut it down first to the size it needs to... No, we're not. We're going to cut it this way. So I I'm going to cut this. I love the gold foiling. No, I absolutely it's love It's really, it. really nice, isn't it? And it's just... Because it's on matte, sometimes when it's foiled, it doesn't necessarily look right, but because of the patterns and all the textures that you get in this, it's really, really I nice. I think the the, uh, the camera there is really catching the foil. Um, I think the lighting's superb on that. I'm trying really to pretty. That. Yeah, I'm trying to work out that I'm doing this right. So we're going to take from we're going to trim from this edge at three and a half, and then and we're going to take inches, yeah? inches. Yep, and then we're going to take the other side and do exactly the same. Probably go a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to go two notches below three and a half because I want the size to be the same. Then we're going to do a little bit of um, piecing this together. So you want to get some double sided tape and we're going to put this across the bottom piece like so and we're just leaving it so the edge is still, you can still see that. Oh, I am doing this wrong. I am. Right. Let's just peel this back. 
it's fine. Mm. We'll do it with the sticky on. It'll still cut. Because what I want to do is on my piece of 7x7, seven seven, I want these corners to still be there. Can you see what I'm trying to do here? So before I stick it down and then we don't have that corner at all, let's cut this now to two notches. Is it two notches below the seven? Yeah. Two notches below seven. And then what we can do is we can do the same on this side. And then we can stick these together and hopefully we will have a square that has two corners in the corner. That makes sense. Does it? It took a while for me to get there. Don't you worry now. Maths is not my strong point, especially on a Monday. You. So you're kind of cutting up your card and you do have little bits left over, but again, they can be utilized in other projects. So then we need to put this onto a piece of mirror, and I think that this is just a little bit over, so I'm gonna just trim this to seven. I think that's the joy with our A4 sheets of cardstock. You can um, you can chop into them and, and have all different sorts of, of, of sizes there, can't you? You just really like can. So let's see that this um, goes on there perfectly. Now it does, so you've got a nice little border. So I'm gonna use my finger lift tape just because it's easier to, to get up. So let's just stick this down. Um, and you do obviously have that edge there where you can see um, where we've joined it together, but that's where I'm going to utilize that border. So let's just stick this on here. I'm going to take my mirror and just tape that up as well. Uh, I'm just looking through the comments uh, at the moment on, online, guys, on the Facebook feed. Um, so yeah, there's some people mentioned that our orders are a little bit late at the moment. They are again, I do apologize. That's the hangover, hangover sounds terrible, doesn't it? That's the hangover from a new members gift going out. Um, the, the size of the, of the membership now, the number of people who, who order those members gifts creates quite a backlog very quickly. And then there was members week, of course. Uh, but again, they're catching back up again. So we did get to the point where we were sending out orders next day again, and now it's come back out. We've got to get it back back there. But the guys are working really, really fast. Customer services, uh, as lots of people have said, uh, are ace, and they will help you uh, without any problems there. Lots of people um, mentioning the little books uh, for that, that will be launching on Create and Craft later today. They will be. Um, with Pauline Wheeler. Um, there's a hippo. That's it's super very cute, cute isn't, isn't it? There? Yeah, it's guys. So um, you'll see them. We'll bring them to you later on in, the, in this week, anyway. So uh, you will get to see them on here if you don't get to see them. Great, great, um, great pieces there. So I'm going to have my card as a tent card. So I'm turning it this way for this next step. Um, we're going to stick that piece that we've just made onto our mat, and then to add a bit more dimension, we're going to stick this on with foam pads. So I've got some chunky ones. Shireen Broadhurst says that the way that Natalie rips the double-sided tape is just mesmerizing. It, I don't know, I can't do it like that. I've tried, it's... Um, it's it, finger it, lift though, so you've got that little... It is a lot easier to, to lift off than normal. I swear than normal. I can lift, I really do. It's really good. Um, so I'm just making sure that I've got... I'm using these big ones. And I'm making sure that they're in the middle because you don't want it to dip. So then you can use your pokey tool. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, to just lift off. You see, this is experience because when I do this, apart from the fact that it takes me 10 it times longer. It is experience. Longer, However, when I do it on telly, it does never happen like that. Does it never happen no. like that? <laughs> It takes forever. I did, um, I did my first demos uh, last month, didn't I? And I think one of my demos was 18 minutes. And, <laughs> and I think half, Super long. half of it was taking the tape off things. So we have um, our card sort of start, starting to take shape now. So I'm going to add this um, border to the middle here. I'm just making sure that it's equally in the center and that it's straight. Um, so I'm using those checks that are in the background to easily line that up, so that helps quite a bit. Um, and then we just need to trim that off. I'm going to go in with my scissors 
And just trim that off there. And Those then we can beautiful add rainbow scissors that poppers. Natalie's just used are... Um, are, are they are, back? No, they're not back yet. <gasps> they've, they've gone out of stock. So um, they're going to be, I think, about six weeks, something like that, until they come you back in. So. Um, they are beautiful, though, aren't they? Really, really good quality they scissors. They are super good. They're just... I used to have to clean my scissors that I used before I got these ones quite a lot because they get like the sticky on them and then you couldn't really cut or you, if you were doing fussy cutting it would sort of just get in the way a little bit but you don't have to do that um, with these ones they're really good because they sort of kind of like repel the sticky so it just doesn't stick to them at all it's probably the titanium edge or it could indeed be the fact that they're made from real unicorn horn oh yeah I forgot about Donated, that. by the way, by the unicorns, um, you know, in a, in a very loving manner. It, yes, just like to point that out. Kindly donated. Kindly donated. So then I'm doubling my foam pads With love. Up. With love and... <laughs> yeah. On this frame. I wonder if... Do, do, you, do you think unicorns make that noise? Is that... Do unicorns make a, a horse? horse makes unicorns, that unicorns, noise. Unicorns make a horse noise. <laughs> It depends they how they similar they are. Stay. You never know, they might make like a little jingle. Do you know what I do you think? Feel like um, a fairy. Do you think unicorns can talk? Um, can they actually talk? So, right, if they can talk, they don't make horse noises because. They, they do sometimes. They do sometimes? Yeah. Okay. Like we make like grunts and whatever. Grunts and horses. All right, Em. You, you just carry on, you 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 carry on producing far, there. Far Over there, Grunter. Grunty Grunter. <laughs> Far too into that, Emily. So then we have our outside frame on two layers of foam pads. We're going to put this inside frame on one, the, the main topper on one, and then the inside frame I'm going to stick. So they're all separate. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, because it's the largest, you want to make sure that it's central. So we're taking the outer frame um, when I can get the tape off. There we go. I'm going to stick this centrally. So I'm just holding that over to make sure that it's nice and neat. And then we can stick this one on. And I'm going to just use, I'm going to use my glue stick for this. I think foam pads are so important for, for card making just because of the, the extra depth that they give. I love cards that that come up in layers. Oh, really Does that make sense? So uh, I suppose I can see from where I'm stood now, I can see that there's, see that there's depth and there's real layers in there, whereas I suppose it's flat on the screen at the moment. But um, yeah, it's really I'll nice. I'll show you when we pop it up. And then once that's stuck in place, you can use the outside guide to stick your middle frame in nicely. And um, so it's all nice and even. And then, I can't do it with my nails today. I'm gonna do top one so this is one layer of foam pad so it's kind of create it's going to create kind of a, a funny shape because that outer layer is going to stand above it quite nicely and then there's loads of nice sentiments to go on here so we've got on your special day thinking of you happy birthday to you um and then you've just got some really cool facts like facts about the red deer facts that like a thing that says did you know um but i think Let's just use this beautiful thinking of you because it's in a darker brown and I think it's going to look quite nice just on here. So we can use those thin foam pads that we've got. These are really useful for toppers that are this size. So let's stick that on here and then we can just place that centrally, hopefully, onto that top frame just giving it an extra bit of dimension. And then to finish it off, let's go in with some of our pearl gemstones. Guys, if you don't have these pearl gemstones, grab yourself a pack. Definitely. I think they're two pounds 49. There are, there are, I believe, nine different sorts, nine different sets. And each of the sets have a number of different coordinating colors within them. Uh, but they are lovely. Just grab yourself one set and I'm sure you'll come back for more. They, they are absolutely lovely, they really are. So I'm putting three of the medium sized, this is sort of like a, a milk chocolate colour. When it comes to gem so, gemstones, yeah. uh, De La Soul said it first, I do believe. Three is the magic number, is that correct, Natalie? I think so. I think th 
odd numbers work better than even numbers. Sounds really mad, but I do think that is the case. And then to finish off, because I have it here and it's cut down and if I don't put it in, I'll only annoy myself. We have an insert and inserts are so important just to finish off your cards and make them look really professional. I didn't have any inserts at the weekend. I was making some cards for my, my family. It was Mark and Pa's wedding anniversary. Oh, so congratulations. I made them a card. So then you've got your insert in the background and you've got all that dimension on the front there that you can see. You can see how they all dip. Um, but I just think it's a really lovely collection. Um, and it's great for those people who like a, to be a bit more outdoorsy. Definitely, which is which people are getting into so much more, aren't they? Definitely, um, especially with walking lockdown and... has become so popular, uh, and oh. rightly so. Uh, two things, guys, that I take from uh, from that. Number one is that Natalie makes a card in half the time it takes me to make one. Um, and I number that was two, quite long, actually. number two, may I borrow it, Natalie? Is yeah. that right? Um, thank you very much. Number two is the idea that there we go. Pop that there. Um, what you can really do, your, your A4 piece of cardstock doesn't have to be an A4 piece of cardstock. It can be any size or shape that you want. And if your cardstock hasn't been designed by the designers to be exactly what you want when you first get it, cut it. Yeah. Change it because because those two they, those were at, 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 those get them right. Those were at separate corners of an A4 piece of cardstock, and now they're together. Um, uh, as a square and you wouldn't be able to tell. That's the clever use of this ribbon border here to, to, to hide the join. Um, now, I really think that's beautiful. Thanks. Look at the, the uh, I love it when it catches the, the, the light there as well. That's oh, really I know, pretty, and it like it? shimmers. It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, guys, um, Woodland Wildlife, very, very nice. Couple of more products to show you, but before I do, can I just repeat that win it weekly question? We've had a couple of people asking for it. Um, what we'd like to know, and this is to win a, Behind you! This is to win again. our golden oldies. It's there again. Done it again. Our golden oldies um, Christmas crackers collection, designed by the uh, the stunningly beautiful Alan Kenyon of Hunky Dory Crafts, um, and brought to you by Hunky Dory Crafts ourselves. It's a big bundle, twenty four pounds ninety nine worth of awesome goodies. We're going to give four of these away. What we want to know is this: How do you make an octopus laugh? Is it A, by Dan telling a bad joke? Is it B, with tentacles? <laughs> or is it C, with a feather duster? And Emily, you told us that people worked out who it was, uh, the, co the comic who used to have a feather duster. Yeah, Ken Dodd. Ken Dodd, Ken Dodd, absolutely. I can't remember the words. If you'd have said the hat, I would have probably would got you it. Would you have got it? Yeah, but for, yeah. Ken Dodd, very, very good. Um, old school, classic comedy. We love it, we love it. Okay, a couple of things to show you guys. Um, Within our uh, Woodland Wildlife collection, there's a couple of upsells, a couple of products that, that can be, you don't have to get them, but they can go with uh, and they accentuate. Uh, the first thing is this gorgeous Moonstone cutting die here. Uh, this is the Falling Leaves die. Now, what's brilliant about this, apart from the fact that it's a gorgeous size. It's so nice. Look at the beautiful, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it creates um, this, this lovely sort of, silhouette or outline effect, doesn't yeah. it, of, uh, of, of falling leaves, which is really, really pretty. Um, £14.99, but that goes into, and I love that we do this when we launch um, brand new dies, they automatically go into the multi-buy for that size die. Yeah. So, £14.99 each or any two dies of this size on our website, hunkydorycrafts.co.uk, as you can see at the bottom there, for £24.98, I believe it is. Yeah, so yeah. if there's, if there's the one that... You know, you've been wanting to get quite a while and you really like this one. It you makes can sense add that to get in. them in that multi bag. Absolutely, it's lovely. Second thing is our uh, Woodland Wildlife Maptastic Adorable Scorable. Okay, let's just show you the colours. Here we go. So, this is a collection or selection of Adorable Scorable. Um, there are 10 different colours in here, but you don't just get the 10 that I'm showing here, you get three of each. So, in total, it's 30 sheets. Of this lovely Mattastic cardstock, 350 GSM, guaranteed uh, not to crack when you score it and fold it with our adorable scoreboard. 
Um, absolutely beautiful, uh, heavyweight cardstock quality, the quality that you expect from Hunky Dory Crafts in a selection of beautiful colorways. Um, you've, got, you've got lovely dark grays in here, you've got the browns that you would expect, um, but into these lovely sort of burning orange colors as well, which is very pretty. Uh, a lovely sort of, um, I don't know the names of these colors, but I wish that I um, did. So I think the gray is our pebble gray, then we have, um, oh, We'll find out. They are on the website, guys, and we should know, so I, I apologise. I know that the green is forest, forest fern. Forest fern. I'm going to call that burnt ochre. I'm going to call no, that, that... That one is actually terracotta. I'm going to call that winter's morning. Well, it is now. Um, guys, these are available at 30 sheets for £9.99. Uh, our lovely Mattastic, we adore it. But I wanted to get to show you this, because I think it's quite special. This okay. is cool. This is very cool, right? I'm gonna show you the product first and then I'm gonna show you the cards and what's made yeah. it. And then, if we're lucky, Natalia von Musprat will make us, will you? I wasn't going to, but will I you can. Not? Oh, no. It would be lovely I if you did. Do. Learn how to do it quickly now. Um, okay, let's take a quick look. Here we go. This is the Woodland Wildlife Easel Reveal concept cards. So you make eight cards with this collection, okay? And, um, and they're absolutely beautiful cards, stunning cards. Uh, they are. They use the artwork that's in the main kit, as you can see. So there's the stag, um, but they've got gorgeous sort of um, lovely foiled backgrounds for an easel, and it's an easel reveal card, which I'll show you in a second. Um, double sided as well, these guys. Okay, so you don't get any white on this at all. You're going to get the colour on both sides and throughout. Uh, the lovely duck. Some of the favourite artwork from this collection. So squirrel, squirrel nutkins there, our little friend and of course the owl. Let me show you, you get two of each of the sheets that I've shown you. You also get envelopes as well, um, and you get uh, eight of those. But let me just show you this. Okay, so this is the, bring it to there maybe? This is the easel reveal card, and the reason it's called a reveal card is because when you pull that, it reveals this gorgeous bit of information about, isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely, how clever? Uh, about the animal itself. Okay, I'm going to read you this. Uh, the red deer stag. Uh, it gives you the Latin name for it. The red deer is one of the largest deer species in the world and Britain's largest land mammal. They are gregarious. Oh. Did you know that? No, I, I did didn't. not. Gregarious. I want to be gregarious. Um, often associating in family groups, their distinctive rusty red colour in summer turns to a brown winter coat. The stag's impressive antler branches increase in number with age. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely love that you get that information. You get the lovely happy birthday uh, on there as well uh, with, this, with this wonderful reveal. Very, very clever. And there's even a little bit of space here with some lines for you to write your message. How very clever. Oh, and that on the back as well. So you can have two messages, which is lovely. Let me show you the duck here. The duck needs a name. Do we have a name for the duck? The mallard is what it's called. Okay, and we've got the squirrel. There we go. How lovely. And we have the owl, and I love this sort of tartan effect as well, the barn owl. Uh, I'll read this one. The barn owl is the most widely distributed species of owl in the world. And what in the world? And one of the most widespread of all species of birds. The barn owl has a white heart-shaped face and white chest with small brown spots. The back is tawny, marked with black and white spots. I didn't know it's one of the most widely... One of, the most wide, one of the most widespread of all species of birds. The well, something new every day. You certainly do. Isn't that lovely? Um, Natalie. If you pass me a sheet, I will make one up. You absolute angel. I'll try my very best. Okay, so can we go with... you? you did one. You did the deer, didn't you? Yeah? Yeah. So can we go... Come can on, Ducky. Let's go with this one. Let's go, Ducky. There okay. we go. Pass that across to you. Okay. So, Natalie, on the spot, my fault. Uh, I do apologise and fingers I crossed. <laughs> I know, fingers crossed that we don't um, ruin this. Right, so we're going to pop out all of our elements. That's the best thing to do when you get something like this. Just pop everything out. And what I love about our concept cards is that there's always like little instructions um, that come with them. But secondly, when you get this sheet home, everything has sort of like little numbers on. So you'll see that you've got like an A and a B, so you know that those bits sort of coordinate um, with each other. So if we just pop this out. It's so clever, isn't it? I've just it noticed really that, clever. that on the, uh, on the slider you get an A where, where you're meant to stick the two things together and they yep. both say A. It's very clever. 
So this is our little pulley section here. So what you want to do is we'll stick, if we turn this piece over that says B, we're going to take some red tape. Red tape's the best because it's sort of the strongest tape that we have. So you know that it's going to stick and your projects won't sort of come apart. So we'll pop this off here like so. I'm going to stick the A bit on this side here to the A bit on our panel. So let's just stick that this way. And then we make sure that that is on nicely like this. Then we want to stick our piece together. So I'm going to use the red tape again. You could use glue for this. Um, our construction glue would work perfectly, but you want to make sure that it's just on the outside edges and that you're not sticking anything over where that panel is. So let's peel this off. Can I read to you about the, uh, the mallard? Go for it. The mallard, so he's called Anas Plateri, I can't say that. The, malla, the mallard. <laughs> I was going to say good luck with that. Good luck with that. The mallard is a dabbling duck. A dabbling? I like what that. does it dabble with? The mallard is a dabbling duck, commonly seen in wetlands. The male has a strike, striking dark green head and yellow bill, whilst the female is mainly brown with an orange bill. Ah. So, so, so the, 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 the mallard has the, has the yellow bill and the female has the orange bill. That's very nice. So now we have um, our sort of mechanism made up and that is how simple it is. Those pieces are now put together um, and you can just pull this up and down. We've got our B here which connects with this B here and I'm going to use foam pads for this just so it stands up slightly so we can stick a foam pad on top of there making sure that that sticks on centrally and you can see that it it does, and then we're going to add just to the bottom here, making sure that we don't stick it over this gap. To do that, let's just stick this up here. We'll use um, our smaller foam pads, like so. But these are so simple and easy to do, and they're really going to impress people, especially if you have them on a stall, um, or if you give them to give them to someone as a nice little card because. They're going to think, wow, how have, you, how have you made that mechanism? But the work is sort of all done for you. I can't believe so how now, simple it is, but it's lovely, isn't it? You have your finished card. Um, and you can see how that works and how easy it was to put together. It's really fantastic. It's such a simple way. And the great thing about concept cards as well is that you can take these home and you know, you get, f do you get four or do you get eight? I think you get eight, you don't get you? Eight. You get eight, so you have the ability to make two of each of the cards. But what you can do is that you can keep one behind, use it as a template, and then you can make your own cards um, in this same fantastic design. And I think that's really good because it's sort of, um, you've got a template there for how to create cards like this yourself. So if you want to use stamps to do it, um, you can do that. But I, it's a really, really quick, easy card to do. What I love fantastic. is that you made that on the fly, Natalie. I'd actually never made that <coughs> one before. Duck, fly, on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here all week. Thanks. Thanks for that. Um, I think it's time for some Hunky Dory headlines. Good morning and welcome to the Hunky Dory headlines. My name is Newsy McNews Reader. On Hunky Dory TV this week, we have three shows for you. We start the week with the craft show this morning and the launch of our fabulous woodland wildlife. Isn't that lovely, Ducky? It's lovely. It's lovely. On Wednesday, the 9th of September at 10 a.m., it's little books time, and also your chance to grab some fabulous, adorable, scorable pattern packs. And on Friday at 10 a.m., it's something very new and very special as we launch our delightful Bohemian Bliss collection. Rather nice. News just in. This morning, we found out what Jay-Z called Beyonce before she became his wife. That's right. Fiance. Oh my. 
Stock updates, back in stock we have the White Glue Mega Buy and the Construction Glue Mega Buy. And for those that missed the emails, we have the Stamping Press back in stock at last, together with replacement magnets for those who would <gasps> like them. Yes, yes, yes. Those. In other news, David Attenborough has made a new documentary on how a penguin makes a house. Long story short, it glues it together. It glues it together. That's the worst one yet. I think they're getting terrible. <laughs> Creating Craft TV this afternoon at 3 pm and at 8.15 tonight, we have Pauline Wheeler on Creating Craft TV uh, with our new little books. And then on Thursday at 1.30 pm and 8.15 pm, we have Sheila Halliwell showing you the stunning new Bohemian Bliss collection. Um, it's lovely. You'll like it. It's I do. It's so pretty. Sheila will also be there on Friday morning at 7.30 if there is anything left. We Doubt, can see. Doubtful. Now it is time for our thought of the week. Skinny people are easier to <laughs> kidnap. Stay safe, eat cake. I like that one. <laughs> and that concludes the Hunky Dory headlines for this week. Hi everyone. That was the best two seconds I've witnessed in two weeks. Uh, okay, okay, people. Um, I do believe that my friend uh, and yours, Natalie Mosprat, <laughs> has something uh, super to show us over there at the demonstration station. Uh, shall we take a look and see what she's got? I do. So I just want to show you some fantastic card models that were made with this kit. Um, so I'm utilising those different toppers. Um, this one's really nice and you can see, if I hold it this way, that it has a beautiful dome on the front um, which really adds a little bit extra special to it. It's a fantastic card, that one. Then we have the beautiful Kingfisher. Um, there's two cards here using the toppers from this collection. Um, but they're totally different. Look how fabulous they both look. Um, it's a really nice way to see how different the styles of cards are that you can make with um, that exact same cardstock. It's really, really lovely. We've got one using the beautiful squirrel. I love the colours in here. Um, I just love autumn. Absolutely love it. Um, so that is our squirrel. We have this beautiful one here. Oh, is this the otter? It is an otter. It is, isn't it? The otter. But I look, at, I just love how it's sort of like washed. That background um, is just amazing because it's it's really quite detailed, but it has that watercolor effect, and it's it's just it's just beautiful. And then we have um, our favorite, the little mallard, flying away there. I feel like he's probably mid mid fight here. Like get off my breath. Fight. <laughs> yeah, like with another There's no one. fighting. For some bread or something. He's Get off my bread. <laughs> and then we have um, the deer with that wonderful... Get off my deer. bread. <laughs> Did you know? Not you're not You're not allowed to. I don't believe you're allowed. They're like me, gluten intolerant. <laughs> and then this one's really good. Emily might need to put this on the bigger cam so you can see this. This is a really cool um, sort of like little box here that Sheila's made. You could fill this with all sorts. You could probably fill it with like bird feeder, give it to someone as a nice gift. Um, for their garden and then this one's also quite fabulous she's turned this one into like a little bag a little gift box bag which I love um, and inside she's got the little um, button here that you can lift it up it's got some velcro um, and then you can fill that with lots of lovely lovely gifts for someone so that's a really really cool and totally different way of utilizing those border strips um, and the cardstock that you get I think that is just Sheila all over Super crazy project, but it looks absolutely fabulous. She's ace, isn't she? It is really, really good. Love it. Um, so then next, let's show you some of the other items that you get um, included in this collection because there's a real vast um, sort of, because you've got the dies, you've got stamps with this as well. Um, and Stacey's done a really good job. I'm sure Stacey did these ones. Um, or it may have been Jen, so if it is Jen, I do apologise. But we have three stamp sets here, um, which are all fabulous, and they all coordinate absolutely lovely with this kit. Um, so once you've used your 
cardstock once you've used all of your little elements up. You can make your backgrounds with the stamps. So you can see here that you've got that really nice silhouette with the trees in. Um, and that one's going to be really, really nice for um, creating some nice backgrounds. Putting that on brown, you could use our matastic and then stamp this in a darker brown. That's going to create a really, really lovely background. Then we have this one, which is really cool. You've got those leaves and I really like how detailed these are and how you've got like the veins and the sort of aspects that you see on sort of like autumnal leaves when you mm, pick them up. Beautiful. Um, it's really, really nice. So I think that would be fantastic if you put this on some shrink, shrink plastic. You can make oh, like some course. earrings that would with be them, super. some leaf What earrings. I love with stamping with this sort of thing is that you know the colours that you get uh, in, in autumnal leaves yeah. on the floor when they fall or yeah. on the trees as they're about to, all those gorgeous golden colours and earthy tones. You can make leaves with all different colours just for using those ink pads that, really we, that can. we have. You really can. Beautiful. It's really, really nice. And then the last one you have this beautiful log image where you've got um, the background there, all tiled, all different sizes. This again is great in loads of different colours, reds, browns, oranges. Um, and they're eight pounds. Um, is that all together? Eight oh no, eight pounds each. each. Um, but because they are not, they are sixteen pounds in the bundle. Or if because they are our stamps and there are A6 stamps, we also have the offer. Um, two for eight. Uh, no, no, it's, it's any, two, any three, any three, for, any three any for 16, three. but it can be any three across the whole website of that size, which I love. So again, if you Including want, all the brand new ones. Yeah, so if you want something that came out last week, you can get that and one of these beautiful background stamps. Then, because we haven't finished, I love a paper pad. Absolutely love one. So this now is this our, is part of the bundle. This is. So, so this is get, part of the pick of the week. If you get the pick of the week, you're going to get this... Um, fantastic paper pad included um, so you're going to save there but if you just want to buy the paper pad to use with the stamps can we take a look at we've got the pick of the week we have the as pick a, of the um, week we do as a pack shot here it's there so that is everything you're going to get you're going to get the toppers inserts concept cards and this paper pad so there's a lot there isn't it it's a lot of kit it's a lot of kit and of course that's free uk mainland postage as well it is because so you're it not going to have to pay pounds. postage um, but I love this because, again, as well as having the beautiful um, sort of rustic designs that you get in this collection, let me just see if I can get to the other one, um, you have some fantastic coordinating backgrounds. This is going to be a little bit easier if I hold it this way, you're going to see better. Um, so once you've, you've got that wonderful um, sort of stag and then you've got the beautiful um, sort of textured background there, it kind of looks like the outside of an egg actually oh it's speckled at like the top speckle, that's really yeah, yeah. Um, you've got the beautiful kingfisher with the beautiful tartan sort of background there i love that blue color it's really nice and i like how you've got this sort of like rustic sort of ripped edges um it's really nice you've got the mallard and some really nice corner details on this one um with a fantastic sort of green foliage on there, I really like that actually. Next we've got the otter and you've got the coordinating sort of, if you look really closely, it kind of looks like a, a damask pattern, but it's so light that you, you really can't, you can't tell. And then you've got some fantastic patterns that you're going to get throughout this, which are just perfect to use with your kit to sort of spread out your, your kit so you don't use all of the background papers, the background cardstock, sorry, you can use these as well. You can use these alongside your stamps and that's something oh, that we're gonna show you next, how you can really utilize um, these background papers with your stamps. So I think that's everything that you're gonna get in there. It's fantastic, it's 48 sheets in here. Um, and they're just full of really, really lovely backgrounds. Um, and I would definitely, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna get this paper pad because I think the patterns and the themes in there are great for men's cards. So even if you don't use the sort of more features with the um, animals on, you've got those fantastic patterns, um, which is gonna be fantastic for making um, male themed cards. They really, really so $9.99 on its own. There's 12 different designs 
um, they're double sided but you're going to get 48 sheets um, it's fantastic so let's such good value isn't it's it the so paper good. pads are great value at 9.99 for 48 just, sheets they just last um, they just last really really well so I'm going to use um, my paper pad with two of the stamps um, to make up a card so I've got a selection of pages here we've got this beautiful one with the feathers in the background we've got like a beigey speckly one again it kind of has that sort of outside of an egg look we've got a brown tartan and then we've got one with leaves on so we've got four different papers there and then i've got myself a six by six and what i've done is i've cut the front to um five so it's five by six the front of this card and that's just going to mean that when i fit fit my paper into the inside you're going to get another um, sort of pattern um, alongside this so I'm going to use this brown one on the inside so let's start by sticking so let's stick this one in and then I'm kind of going to use the papers and then the stamps are sort of like a little feature in between so we can stick this into the inside of our card and it is six by six so it should just fit really nicely in there so if we open it out we can line that up we might need to trim it actually but we can do that later on some so people are saying that got... the um some, sorry to interrupt that it's some okay. people are saying that they're getting a little white square on on the, on the screen on the screen yeah we, we're not getting it here um shireen says it's not on youtube it's a little bit strange but we'll keep our eye on it so we've got um there's so many different backgrounds, I couldn't decide which side to actually use on some of these because they're really cool, but I wanted to keep in with that um, really nice sort of brown tones, that sort of really autumnal feel. So we have this on here and it is just over slightly. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just trim this off my dodgy cutting. Then we can trim around here. And the great thing is, is that if you're not very good or um, you don't yet have a trimmer, um, you can stick straight onto your card blanks sometimes and then just cut around and use them as a guide. It's Often a really good tip that quite for, a good for thing people to who do. are just starting out. It, yeah. it, it does work. Uh, it might not be quite as clean as the finish that you can get with a, uh, with with a, a trimmer. trimmer or a guillotine, but it does work and, and only people who are really looking, which, which is what you tend to do actually, yeah. you get quite um, uh, crit do. critical of your own cards, don't you? You very much do. So then we've got this um, sort of really nice sort of speckle background and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my logs onto here. So if I take my stamp and I'm using my stamp and press, and we're going to stamp this to, it doesn't really matter which side actually, because I'm going to trim it down. So guys, if you see those magnets Ooh. that Natalie has used to, uh, to stick the piece of card in place to make sure that it doesn't move, um, those are what you can, you can now get those I'm extra so separately, um, should you wish to, uh, for people who want to A, use them as fridge magnets, um, because they love the purple, or people who do just want to have an extra um, secure piece of cardstock. You definitely need them. So they, just... You do get two that come with the stamping press though. Well, extra ones are always great because we're always losing them, especially me. But I feel like if I get more now, I'm probably going to lose them even more. So I'm going in with a Versafine here. Um, this is a, this colour is toffee. So as well as having the fantastic black Versafine, um, that we all know and love they do do them in some fantastic colors and i thought this one worked perfectly because it's really got has that um sort of autumn feel so i'm making sure that all the logs are nice and covered and we're just going to run our fingers along the stamping press i'm not too fussed about whether this stamps perfectly um however because i am using the stamping press if it does just hold that down if it does miss bits out like it has here the beauty of this press is that we can go back in add color and then go back onto our cardstock and it isn't going to move it, it really isn't um, it's 
a fantastic stamping press. It really is. I think it's one of the best. And we tried a lot of different stamping presses um, to really figure out what we wanted when we when we picked a stamping press. Um, because you've got the ones that have a hinge. A hinge. And you know with the hinge ones you kind of get uh, movement. So this one is really, really good for sort of staying um, put, nothing really moves. And it has these fantastic guides on as well. So if you do move it and you pick it up, um, if you place it down where you had it before, it's gonna, it's gonna go back to the same place every time. So if I just get my trimmer, what I wanna do, I think I wanted this to be longer actually, because is this six by six? It is, so let's do a sneaky little bit of tiling here which is really really clever you can you can do this because of the way that the stamp is so if I put my press here and then I move my card with the with the magnets up to this bottom piece and then if I take my ink and just stamp over that bottom bit because it's only gonna I only want the bottom bit to stamp and then I put my press down make sure that my paper's fine you can move it around it's not a problem and then we press that bit down this should tile to the bottom so you have that image again so you've got real great sort of flexibility um, with this for how you can use it so I'm just going to trim it so that image is off to one side and I'm going to do what everyone absolutely hates in card making and I'm just going to rip this edge to create I am <laughs> I am and then we're going to stick this on top of here so again you've got that really nice sort of um, border you showing all those different colours off um, and we can put this onto, let's put this onto some card, some foam pad, sorry. Ooh, Victoria and Mortley has asked, how do you clean the stamp? She's finding it hard to clean them after using. Um, the stamp should clean with uh, soap and water, but yeah. equally that we do stock something called stamp cleaner uh, that has been um, created specifically to do that job. It also uh, you'll depends. Find it on the website. Yeah, it's a really good cleaner too. It also depends what sort of colours you use. Because if you use sort of like reds or pinks, they they do tend to add um, like a little bit of a, a a pigment to to the stamps, and it's something that is it is quite difficult to remove actually. Um, but when you have the right sort of um, equipment like the stamp press cleaner, I found that stamps that I had that were um, that had this sort of tinge and I couldn't get rid of it. It, they came, it came off like really, really well. Um, and I hate having dirty stamps. I really, really don't like it. I think every single time I use a stamp, I clean it straight away. Do you? Yeah, it's like an obsession that I have. All my stamps have to be clean. And sometimes I even like to have them in my, um, like back in the bags. Oh, right, okay. And yes. then so I'll put, put them all them... back as if, they, as if they've um, never been used. Yeah. Am I right in saying though that there is, it's not going to cause any damage if your stamp isn't cleaned? No, no, it'll be absolutely fine. And if it's dry, absolutely fine. Then, then it should, um, and it's it should not, be fine. Yeah, and it won't affect sort of like any future, um, stamping. future stamping. It's not going to change the colour. And um, when you stamp again, it's going to, it'll be absolutely fine. It is just um, an OCD thing that I have to do. A pet peeve. Ah, I'm stuck. So I decided that I was going to add um, a little piece of sort of um, twine here. It's quite a thick piece. I decided after I'd taken the bits off my foam pad, so I'm struggling because it's sticking to me. <laughs> so we can stick that down now. Um, and if you have bits that sort of pop up like this one here, we just add a piece of tape over that. It won't move or sort of come off or up. And then we can add this to our edge of our card. So this is the thing, isn't it, with card making? You can hide like all this. sorts of secrets behind that no one would ever know. 
And then I don't really have an autumnal, I don't have a, like a, a greeting that I could put on here. Um, but I, you can definitely use sort of our essential, essential greetings, say happy birthday, something like that. I didn't, I didn't think far enough ahead um, when I was planning this this morning. Um, but I would definitely stamp sort of like a, a happy birthday or a just for you um, on this one. But it's a really, it's quite simple, um, but it does show off all of those patterns. And you can see how fantastic using these stamps um, you can create some really nice backgrounds for your cards and coordinate them obviously with your toppers um, so I I love the different levels there it looks like there are three different different levels to the card yeah because we've cut pretty. the front off so you've got that extra inch there and then you've got um, the piece here um, that's on foam pads that are ripped off everyone hates that Okay, beautiful people. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Natalie, beautiful people. We are coming to the end of our show today. Uh, let me remind you one last time about our Win It Weekly question. Uh, so to win your fabulous Golden Oldies Christmas Crackers bundle, uh, there are going to be four winners. Please, can you answer this question? We want to know, how do you make an octopus laugh? Is it A, Dan telling a bad joke? There's been a couple of those, I'll admit. Is it B, with 10 tickles? Or is it C, with a feather duster? You let us know um, which of those it is. And we are going to pick four people on Friday on our Thank Crafters Friday show. So remember guys, we have, uh, if I remember rightly, we have little books today at, let me see if I've got the times. Dun, dun, dun. We have little books today at three o'clock on Creating Craft TV. Uh, Creating Craft TV is Sky 683, Freeview 95, Virgin 748, or Freesat 81. It says three on here, but it says six on there, so it's one of those two. Um, today at three o'clock, little books. Gorgeous new little books. You are going to love them. Uh, if you like heffalumps, there's a very cute heffalump, isn't there? Oh, there's some very cute. Absolutely. And at 8.15pm tonight as well with Pauline Wheeler. Uh, we've got Sheila on Thursday with that gorgeous new Bohemian Bliss, which you'll see with us on Friday. And we'll have the little books on Wednesday. Pick of the week, 34.97 is our Woodland Wildlife Complete Collection, which includes the topper set. Um, the topper collection, sorry, it includes the inserts, it includes that paper pad and those gorgeous concept cards that we showed you and Natalie made earlier. Three demonstrations from Natalie today. Thank you very much, You're Natalie. You're very welcome. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, Natalie, I believe. I'm here all week. Yeah, I'm here all week. That's I'm here good. all week. Uh, and Emily, uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Uh, and everybody, we hope to see you on Wednesday as well. Um, have a lovely start to the week. Mm -hmm.